Hello again everybody and welcome back to Test Flight and the F-86 Sabre. Now let's go ahead and jump back into the cockpit and finish out this approach and landing and see how it goes. I'll see you in a second. Okay, before landing, verify armor switches off, got it, gun side, cajun lever, cage. I said I was going to mess with that. I am later on during the, the uh, video. Uh, set up some air to air stuff with my wingman. Okay, hydraulic pressure normal. Okay, looks good. Oxygen diluter normal. Extend, got it. Windshield and ice lever on, got it. If impaired, got it. Speed brake, gear, downwind, final, touchdown. Okay, that's what I'm expecting on the remainder of the flight. Okay, so let me go ahead and go speed brakes out just so that I can bleed off some airspeed and dive a little bit more aggressively. Well, you pick up altitude in this aircraft. It, it sure likes to climb. <laughs> so, okay, speed brakes are out. And one little thing to note on the speed brakes. Let me level out here and show this. Okay, right now, I've got hands off the control. And you can see that I'm trimmed out for, let me trim out for just a 1G. Yeah, I'm just trimmed out for 1G. Now watch what happens when I put the speed brakes in. I've got hands off the controls. Speed brakes go in. And now the G loading goes up. So I expect an increase in the, or increase not the available G, but increase in G loading as I kick the speed brakes out. So it's just something to kind of keep in mind and just kind of watch as it happens. Because if I kick the speed brakes out when I'm pulling too many Gs, I could run into, run the risk of over -ging the aircraft. Okay, so about 350 knots indicated, and I'll uh, fly the overhead here. I'll hit it about 250 knots when I'm over the air airfield. Uh, do the brake. Uh, go speed brakes out again. Flaps down, gear down, roll out to final. 148 final, 123 touchdown. Okay, that sounds easy. We'll see. Like everything, it's easier said than done. So, stall speed. What am I looking at for stall speed? I'm not going to let myself get into that regime, but stall speed, about 115 is what I can expect the onset of a stall. That's the one thing that I do worry about is losing track of airspeed because with the non-slatted version of the F-86, stall is going to onset quite rapidly, I would expect. Okay, 300 knots, 275 or two, yeah, about 275, 280 indicated. And here I can pull my speed brakes in, level off a little bit, and just set up to fly the, uh, fly a normal approach. Okay, so... Okay, very cool looking airfield. Okay, coming up, lining up on the runway. I fly so few night missions that it's it's kind of neat to see all the lighting and all the uh, the other stuff that's going on. Shadows as they play around the cockpits, uh, kind of neat. Okay, I've got no wind on this uh, this mission, incidentally, just to make it a little well to make it a lot easier for me. 250 knots on the approach or on the. Uh, not the approach, but the, uh, whatever you would call this phase of flight. I'm kind of concentrating too hard to speak coherently at this point. Okay, so once I get to, get basically overhead my touchdown point, I'm going to kick the speed brakes out, turn to the left, and establish on the downwind, gear down, flaps down, final, 148, 123. Okay, speed brakes out. Okay, coming around, coming around. I don't want to get, get, go gear down or flaps down. Or actually, I think I can do flaps down. I don't want to go gear down until I am straight and level. I read that. I uh, read that that is going to increase the probability of causing damage to the gears. Okay, 200. Push throttles up a little bit. You roll out. Flaps down. Gear down. overshot that a little bit on the rollout. Okay, let me go nose down trim just to manage this a little bit. 170, 160. Okay, 160, push it up a touch. Still fighting the trim a little bit. Let me go a little bit more nose down. And that's something I might need to get used to. Just kind of set up 
initially with some nose down trim in anticipation of uh, of an adjustment needing to be made. Okay, let me verify gear down and locked. Flaps up. Let me return the handle to the hole position. Okay, speed brakes out. Give it a little bit more. Give myself a little bit of time on final since this is. You're seeing my very first approach and landing in an F86. Don't want to really botch this too bad. 160. Okay, 148 final. Okay, let me turn to final. Okay, 155. Gonna be a little steep on this approach. I would rather be steep than shallow. I don't know why, but it sounds like a good idea to me at the time, or right now. Okay, picking up a little bit too much airspeed. Let me pull the throttle in. I don't want to pull the throttle in too much because it, the engine doesn't really accelerate that well. Um, it's very, very hard to run up. That's why you do this with the speed brakes out. So I'm a little steep, which is not a big deal. I'll pull the throttle in a touch more, go down to about 60%. Okay, I wanted 148 right here. I would rather be a little fast than a little slow, that's for sure. Okay, let me bring it on up just a touch on the nose. Boy, this handles beautifully though with low speed. 150, okay, good final approach speed. Throttle's up just a touch to maintain the speed and just going to main track down the, maintain track down the center line. I've got my touchdown point picked out. Okay, a little throttle. Okay, throttle's in. Landing is assured, I would assume. Okay, flare, touchdown. I wanted to... Did I want to know? I don't want to error break or anything. I'll take that. And what I'm going to do also is just allow the aircraft to roll out to the end of the runway. I want to use as little braking action as possible. And I shouldn't really need that much braking with the speed brakes out and the flaps out. I should have a lot of drag on the aircraft. And boy, that was that was a fun aircraft to land. That is just uh, very, very stable on a final approach. Stable, yet very, very responsive. And yeah, did that, uh, did that just fine. I might have been a little bit fast to touchdown. I wasn't really concentrating on hitting that 123 not touchdown speed uh, at all actually I was just main maintaining control of the aircraft and not flying it into the runway but yeah that was um, yeah that was pretty good well not pretty good there was a lot wrong with that approach and landing but a pretty good experience from for me from my point of view at least so I'll just take it out here to the end of the runway I should have been a little bit more cognizant of where I needed to go once I do get to the end of the runway so I don't see anything over there to the left. I'll take it over here to the right. It looks like there's some uh, stuff out there. Okay, let me get on the brakes a little bit. And that's, yeah, maybe that's why... Um, well, that's about as responsive as I would expect the brakes to be. So yeah, I mean, that's... You got plenty of runway to work with. If you're having to worry about getting the aircraft stopped very, very quickly. You've either landed long or you've landed hot. Tell you what, which way do I want to go? I want to figure this out before I actually go anywhere. So let me just go to the external real quick. Left or right, which looks more inviting? Left looks more inviting because there's nothing over there to the right. Okay, I'll go left. I'll taxi off the runway. And then once I'm there, I'll hold briefly, run through my after landing checklist. Take her out here to parking, shut her down, refuel, and head back for home. Do a little bit more navigation and do a little bit of air-to-air -air stuff with my wingman, if my wingman is still in the air at that point. Okay, so I'm just bringing it around to the parking area here at the airfield. I'm going to shut it down right here and then refuel. I'm going to get up and walk around and take a break. This was a... Uh, I didn't show all of the flight, but yeah, there was a lot going on here on the... on my end at least. And what I'm going to do is instead of doing the regular rearm and refuel, 
interface right here. I'm just going to exit the sim, recreate the mission with this as the takeoff point, and go from there. That way I know that I have my wingman available for the next phase, and I need my wingman to be available for the next phase anyway. So next flight will be taking off, a little bit of air-to-air -air work with the wingman, more navigation, and then a night landing. Well, actually a few touch-and-goes, and then a, a night landing back at Snaki Kolki. Okay, so taxing into chocks, then bring up a checklist and go through the shutdown. Okay, before landing, got that. Stopping engines, tow brakes, 70, 65 to 70% for two minutes. And I'm going to take this to mean that... Well, no, I wouldn't want to do that during the taxi because that would have me accelerating during the taxi. I was going to say that I could include the taxi time in that, but I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'll wait two minutes, then throttle off, engine master switch off, speed break out. Already got that done anyway. Uh, battery off, cyclic, or control sticks, cycle, pull, cycle, and got it. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Alright, so there's about two minutes at 65 to 70% throttle. I need to pull it back to idle. And let me go throttle off, and that's the end key. Engine master switch off. Speed brake out. I already had the speed brake out anyway, got that. Okay, battery starter switch off. And <laughs> control stick cycle this is going to bleed off of the residual hydraulic pressure that's still in the alternate flight control. Or maybe the normal flight control accumulators as well. Okay, got it. Flight control emergency override handle pulled to extension. Got it. Cycling to make sure. Yeah, the first part was to bleed off the normal hydraulic accumulators. Second part was to bleed off the alternate accumulators. Both are down to zero now. And control handle in for leaving aircraft safety pins. Drop tank switch to all off. Got it. Rudder gust lock handle engaged. Main wheel gears shocked. Let me open up the canopy, or yeah, the canopy. Breathe a little bit of fresh air, and it's it's amazing. After, if you do this, like, the entire thing from front to beginning, it's just a little trick that the mind plays on you, but when you open the canopy, you can just, it's almost like you, the, the air that you breathe is fresher after it. It's just, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just get too into this, but if you're not in, if you can't get into something, the point that I'm into this, I mean, why, why are you doing it in the first place? So let's see, that's all that I want to do for this mission. Although I do see my wingman landing, so hey, that's a good sign. So when I start up on the next phase of this mission, I'm going to have my wingman right next to me. That was a remarkably short <laughs> short landing roll there. But uh, yeah, next phase of the mission is going to be start up, take off, air to air, navigate, landing in the dark. So <laughs> uh, I hope you are enjoying this series so far, and I will see you next time.